Honestly, I feel like my career would have been a lot easier if I would have just done this. I could have done ASMR. Is it too late? My name is Emma Chamberlain, and today we're going to be doing ASMR with items that represent key moments in my life and career. Let's do it. I've done ASMR, like, in real life, but I've never done it on camera. So I'm really excited to do it on camera for the first time. I'm nervous. Cheerleading. I was a competitive cheerleader. I didn't really do high school cheer very much. I did for like one year. Uh, got kicked off the team. That's a story for another day. But cheerleading was a big part of my life. It was one of my passions. Too bad I suck at it now. Um, when I was a cheerleader, I used to make little montages of my cheer competitions. Um, and I would edit them together in iMovie. And I'm not going to lie to you, that definitely helped me learn how to edit and got me to where I am today. I did take the cheerleading very seriously. I mean, to be quite honest, like, it was pretty much all I cared about for five years. So, I mean, even to this day, it's still a pretty big deal to me, even though now I don't do it anymore. So, like, I probably shouldn't care about it. But it's a very big life-consuming, it's a life-consuming activity. You forget about everything else when you're, like, it's, it consumes every day of your life. To represent my time as a cheerleader, here are the sounds of pom-poms, ASMR style, I guess. Oh my god, how nice is that? <laughs> Honestly, this might be like making your ears hurt, I feel like, but there's no way for me to know. I also don't care. It's 
crucial for having a solid mental health. I mean, I'm not saying I have solid mental health. I don't. But it's definitely helped me get to a better place because I have something that excites me and makes me want to get up in the morning and work on something cool. And that's really important. Um, I love coffee a lot. I mean, it's definitely at this point, it's like, it's like a second part of me. It's like a second part of my body. It just, I don't know, it's basically like another limb to represent my time on YouTube. Here's my coffee recipe. Espresso machine, fuck. <laughs> okay. Just saying. That was a perfect ASMR. I don't know if you guys heard it. Hopefully you did. Whatever. Okay. So. Why do I literally not remember how I did this? Whatever, don't tell me. It's good for me. This is a good challenge. heavy. I'm going to probably die. Listen. Oh my god. Listen to
is gonna be good sound. This is gonna be good sound. Listen, listen. I think maybe it won't. It totally is. <laughs> now that's nice. Oh my god. Almost done. Fashion Week. So I went to Paris Fashion Week this year with Louis Vuitton. Definitely best weekend of my life slash week of my life. Paris is amazing and now I have a newfound love for high fashion. You know, I'd never been to Paris before and the energy is just really cool and everything is so beautiful and the food is amazing. I mean, I just honestly, I had such a great time. It feels like a completely different world than where I live because everything's so different, but yet the same. I don't know. I just love it there. So I had an amazing time. Me and Carly are besties. Um, and just, I mean, yeah, we're best friends. Like we like hang out every single day. Like when was the last time you saw me and Carly not together? You can't name that day because we're together every day. No, I'm just kidding. I actually haven't seen Carly since the fashion show, but she's amazing, and I can't wait to see her again. Maybe at another fashion show. I think the craziest part was definitely, um, getting my photos taken by the press outside of the fashion show. I was terrified. I was so nervous, but I just kind of, like, turned my brain off and just was like, okay, I guess I just gotta do this and figure it out, and it'll be over in a few minutes. And then it was... I think the best part was just sitting in the show and watching the show, obviously, and just, like, enjoying his vision while I like to be comfortable. But at the same time, I also like pulling inspo from vintage magazines and, you know, what people used to wear in, like, the 80s and 90s, but then make it a little bit modern. And yeah, but I'm really all over the place. My style changes on a daily basis. There's no way to put a pin in it. Does that even make sense? In honor of Paris Fashion Week with Louis Vuitton, here's me in the form of a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh god. <gasps> if I was a Louis Vuitton bag, this is what I would Excuse me. This is what I would look like. I don't... Uh, whatever. <laughs> sound. I was not expecting that. Now that it hits. What's 
even in this. Stupid Genius. Stupid Genius is my podcast that I came out with maybe like two months ago. It's a new addition to my life, um, but I've been loving doing it. I love recording the podcast. I love thinking about the podcast. I love listening to the podcast, and I love wearing my podcast merch in public and being conceited because wearing your own merch is a little bit weird. I decided to start a podcast because I love to talk and it just seemed like it would make sense. I also really, I've always loved science and I thought it'd be cool if I could incorporate my talking science together into a podcast. I was really good at science in high school. Freshman year, I was a year ahead in science and then, um, sophomore year, I was in, like, the hardest chemistry class or something that you could take in my school, for my age anyways, and that class was insane, and I actually got A's in the classes, somehow, I don't know, I don't think I had a life back then, I didn't do anything fun, I just studied for science, I don't edit my podcast, um, I have a producer and an editor and yeah they helped me out because it's not physically possible I'd not be able to do a podcast without them and I'm very grateful I was talking about it with my producer and uh, we kind of were like trying to figure out how we wanted to structure the podcast and like what kind of little things we wanted to throw in there and we thought it'd be fun to do a word of the day because it would help me get my mind moving towards the right direction so I can answer the question um because it, some of the questions are hard and I don't know the answers beforehand like I genuinely am guessing everything so I need a little boost I think something that people might not know is that it's pretty I feel like it's pretty like raw like even though the podcast itself is really structured, like, it's not, like, super planned or super calculated. I just walk in, I have a question to answer, and I answer it, and I have fun with it, and then I talk a little bit more about my life, and then I go home. It's not, like, you know, super planned, if that makes sense, because it is a really structured podcast. I've wanted to have a podcast for a long time, and... It just never happened because I didn't have time to do it myself. I also didn't have a good concept that excited me. So, after a lot of brainstorming and, um, and a lot of work, we did it. And I, like, I mean, I'm really into it right now. It's been really fun for me. So, yeah. When we were doing, uh, when we were, like, just filming kind of, like, demos of podcasts, like, so they weren't real episodes, just, like, practice runs, um... I've recorded one. The first one I ever recorded, actually, was what's the difference between hot-blooded and cold-blooded, or, sorry, warm-blooded and cold-blooded animals. And that was kind of like a hard one, and I remember having a lot of fun answering it, but then it never ended up going up because it was like the first episode and we weren't in the groove yet. So I'd love to re-answer that one to represent my podcast. Here's the sound of me slicing an onion.
Onions make you cry because, wait, I actually have to remember. Was it like, okay, I forgot if it was either one because, <laughs> is it because, okay, I think it's because when you either you cut it, the juice like flies into your eye or two, when the liquid inside mixes with, mixes with oxygen, it creates like a gas that makes your eyes burn. I can't remember which one it was and that's because I'm bad at my job. I hope this was a really relaxing experience for you. I know it was also a relaxing experience for me. I had a great time, although now my eyes are burning, uh, and I'm going to cry soon. Not yet, though, because I wait until the camera's off, and then I just start going. Um, but yeah, I hope you had a relaxing and great time. Why don't you go sleep or something now? Because now that you're all relaxed, it's what you deserve.